Hello and welcome to the Late Model Fixed series here at Lucas Oil. We're at IRP, as it is also known. And uh, I'm pretty excited, because I think this should be a really good combo. I have been indecisive about which lane I think is the fast lane. And in terms of racing quality, that's a good problem to have. So that means you got multiple lanes that are pretty viable. And that's always a good thing. So, uh, hopefully this will be pretty good. I've decided on the middle lane. It seems like that's what the fast guys are using. And entering down here, getting loose, and then being terrible. Oh wait, that's just what I did. <laughs> well, got a little bit too loose there, but hopefully we'll pull it together. One more lap. I can do better than that. Okay, I need to be a little more aggressive on throttle, I think. A little apprehensive there, and I uh, think I could have been more aggressive. There we go, that's going to be... Oh, I thought it was going to be an optimal sector there, but it wasn't quite. That is a better lap, though, and it will bring us to P2 for now. We will get beat more, I think. But uh, I'm, I'm okay with that. 23-4, especially after messing up the first lap. I'll take that. So, like I said, it seems like the middle lane is the one that lots of guys are, have been using to hit their fast laps. I was practicing mostly on the high line, because that's usually what you want to do here at IRP, it seems like. But I, I found... Uh, that may be the best way to get speeds down in the middle. In fact, that was really darn good right there. Actually going a little lower than I was. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hey, all right. See, I'm still learning. That was pretty good. So if we come down here near that seam, drift up towards this seam, and then get your drive off. Interesting. See, the next thing I'm worried about, though, is what if, say, the high line is better for the tires long run? Right? And it's just like a... And that middle lane's just more of a fast lap thing. I wonder if we're going to want to change lanes based on how much the tires are worn. I was even doing this in practice. And I was actually having pretty decent results. Like, look at that, 0 0.02-ish. Off of my optimal, like that's not very far off and that's after I've worn the tires a bit here. So it feels like there's multiple ways you can get around this place fast. And I think that'll be good for racing unless we get some really horrible slide jobs or something. So you might have guys that uh, try to pass like this and come over here and just like smack the wall right in front of you or something. I might have to make a pass this way and I also hope that no one just absolutely plows through me. Um, I'm Obviously if I deserve it, if I like cut their nose off, <laughs> that's probably not good. But uh, hopefully you also understand not get angry about the side job pass. Got my brake balance bar at 57.6. And I, I've, I'm, I've been undecided about that too, partly because I haven't even really been completely convinced about which lane I want to be running. But I guess I'll keep it right about there. When I had it, I had it back further earlier and it was getting me a little bit too loose on entries. B4, we'll be on the outside. I think that might be okay. Seems like you can just be about anywhere. So. Mission last lap. I've had a horrendous start to this week. Here on Monday night. 
Started off with some Arca Talladega, that ended how you would probably expect it to. And then I did some B Open at Indianapolis, the Oval. And uh, probably one of the worst races I've run in a very long time. And it was all my fault. I have no excuses. That's probably uploaded before this. So. May or may not have seen that already, but not good. Very not good. So that's what immediately preceded this race. I'm really hoping to get a fresh start after that one. Easily one of my worst driven races of all time. And definitely the worst one in the past, like, probably year. <laughs> it was not good. Could have been worse. It was very close to being much worse. Still very, very bad. So. One to go. Nick I'd love to just get a solid finish here. Solid, clean race. Few or no mistakes to get back on track after that one, because that one's left a real sour taste in my mouth. So. Start right here behind the four. The number one on the pole. About to go green. Stay focused. Alright, coach, carry on. Time to do your job. Go, please. <laughs> P2 did not get a good jump. Green, green, green. Looking like me at P2. Which typically is not good. Because I have to look to the left. Maybe he has the same problem. Still there. Hold your line. I'm nearly getting stuck in the Still wall. There. Hold your line. Still there, hold your line. Still there, hold your line. You're now in third. Still there at the bottom. Clear. Seems like the guys ahead might be, uh... Thank you, whoever caught me with your bumper back there. Might be running the high line. No, nope. well, kind of. Is just done a I don't know what I want to be doing here. I'll follow their lead. I assume they know what they're doing. Typically, my assumption is that everybody else is better than me, <laughs> so I will just try to imitate what they've got going on there. It seems to be working. We're pulling away a little bit. I absolutely take that. That's your fastest lap today. Don't know what it's going to do to the tires, though. I am a little bit concerned about that. P3. Just try to be consistent, no matter what I do here. Oh, the four! Getting very sideways. He saves it. That's a very nice job. That couldn't have been easy to do. Trying to do what works for me here. Trying to figure out what feels best to me personally. So whatever I gotta do, I gotta do it well. So even if there's a faster line that I'm not able to execute quite as well. Probably wanna run the one that I can at least competently do. If that makes any sense. I know that was a weird way to say that. Kind of diamonding it, that feels pretty good. Alright, I think I'm gonna keep with this line. Kind of going, I'm kind of entering a little more shallow than some of the other guys. So I come up into that top lane, 
get some turn mid corner and then start going probably harder on the right front if I had to guess jumping in like that I'm gonna roll with it maybe get some of that seam on exit down lower we'll see what it does probably not too good but <laughs> like I said it seems like I can run this line semi consistently and that is worth something Two guys ahead seem like they might be better. That, last lap was that would track based on qualifying results. Got a nice second behind us. Second and then some. I welcome that. Actually going to put my brake bias back a little bit maybe. Because I don't think it's going to be as loose on entry. Now that the tires have warmed up a little bit. And a little bit of extra turn is not going to hurt. Pretty consistent. In fact, the idea is it should help, right? <laughs> so, hopefully. Before. Absolutely karate chopped the wall, by the way. You got that pretty good. Unless it was uh, not as bad as it seemed. You've just done a 3.7. He's getting real loose. I'm not feeling that at all. I think the brake bias did help. You've just done a pretty three point six. This is pretty fun. I have I had never done this combo before. I was kinda of talking about it on uh I think it might have been, yeah, it was Gavin's Discord. I was like, what you guys running this week? Because there sure is a lot of Talladega and Eldora trucks. So I was kind of like curious what other guys were interested in running. I was just making conversation. And uh, Gavin mentioned like the super late models. And I saw this comment. I'm like, hey, this might be pretty good. Never done it before. Gavin says that, said it was a pretty good combo. And uh, I'm agreeing so far. This is pretty good. I'm enjoying this. Really love how there's so many viable lanes. I really do think I could even, if I wanted, do that uh, slider line, essentially. And even though it would kill my tires, I could probably run a good lap or two doing that. Make a pass, importantly. I could do that. I bet I could still run near that wall. And that would probably work out pretty well. As long as I didn't hit it. Didn't hit that wall. But that would all work pretty, pretty darn well. I don't know why I said pretty twice. I like glitched. I real life glitched. Let's see what the wall does. Moving on over here. Get good run off the corner. Ooh, it gets tight. I'm gonna keep doing the other thing. <laughs> Cause I don't need to be hitting the wall. So I'm gonna keep doing what I was doing. So I can do it consistently. And we're actually not too far off these guys. Still only, uh... Okay, Colton. We're matching race pace. About halfway through the race, but... Feeling too bad. Still waiting for, uh this to potentially blow up in my face and just absolutely have ruined the tires. But who knows? Maybe these two guys will wreck each other. That's always a possibility. That was, uh, P3 is sometimes not a bad place to be, huh? When you got two guys wanting to win it in front of you. Gaining, I think. Gotta be careful, though. I don't want to drive right into him or anything. 
Ooh, before almost got the wall. He got really close right there. That last lap was at 23.7. I like this line I have, though. It's working out okay. For now. Still pulling away from the guys behind, it would it would appear. You've just done a 23.8. Hmm. I wonder if I'm scaring these guys with this line. It probably looks like I'm about to fly right into their rear end. Make sure I don't actually do that. That was not a very good corner. Got a little tight there. Just worried for a moment I was going to get near the wall. Oops. Just a tap. We're good. I think the one might have gotten the wall, too. Another bad corner. We got a pass attempt. Nothing doing. If I can put the pressure on the floor, make him want to make a pass real quick. Maybe he can. I can make him get into the one. Who's well, going for it again? It looks like. He's in the wall. What happened to him? He came up. Okay. I'm watching it now. What a race. Got ten left to go. Sure it sticks. Don't get into the wall. Good corner there. Compared to the last lap. We're quickest right now. That lap was at 23. Ooh, we are quickest right now. Interesting. I don't know how I'm gonna pass though. I don't know how I'm gonna get that though. Especially if I'm gonna have a bad corner. I'm scared to do like a slide job. There's no room in front of them, so I really can't do that. Oh, we're on the outside. The next car's the leader. I don't know how that's for it. Okay, hi. Right. Okay, Colton. I know you're Martin. Okay, hi. 
Welcome to iRacing with incident rate calculation. Still there, inside. It's a good job they're not masked up, boys. Clear. Okay, Stay you're check over there in front of me, please. Stay alert. Thank you. This is intense. You got five laps to go. That lap was at 23.9. Push, 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 we can win this. Keep low. Are you really going to do that right now? For a final middle, three wide. Car outside, two wide. I'm sorry, I thought you were going to be on the high line. I tried to clear you. Yeah, I ran low over lap, bro. I don't know where you're going. I'm terrible. I would say it's a good win, but I'm announcing the goal. That wasn't a good win. Good race. Good race, man. Well done. Decent I'm sorry. I've been driving like trash all day. I just. I, they're, Great um, job. You did really well. I was trying to get you to code a good run, man. You too, man. I think he closed up all my other ones. If you were going to have anything. Shh. Well, that was my first race here. Right here. Uh, no pace, but that was actually a fun track. I'm at, I'm at the, 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 the low of our race. I don't know how the hell you guys run fast last night on this track. I was quite close to the time. <sighs> yeah, it seems a little tricky of a track. I got a pick up uh, probably about 310. What up? My fastest lap in the open practice was a five, so I'm right about there, but I just did fall off and start going back and I'm trying to fast track it right You gotta watch your tires. It almost drives like a cookie cutter, so. I'm just gonna show the incidents and probably just be done today. I just That's need really to stop. That's the I can give here. Other than that, you're on point. Mostly just wall hits so far, about halfway through the race now. I'm pretty much the only dirty driver out here.
There's a big wreck. That was very netcode aided as well. Hmm. Five's a little up the track. Thirteen comes off the wall just barely, maybe. Not even really. I think the five just cut it a little bit too close and then uh, decided they hit, even though I don't think they ever would have. So that's unfortunate. So someone gets on the roof. Didn't expect to see that. Thirteen overdrives, gets into the wall. I don't think it's even showing my thing. We didn't get any incident points for it, but we should have. I just I tried to catch him off guard. I didn't want him to expect. I mean he I didn't want him to expect it. And then, like, kind of block it off. I mean, he's right, though. He's he was running that same line every time. I still thought I could get around him down there, but... Should have listened and never tried it. It's just stupid. Just a moron. And then he turns into me, and that... Honestly, he probably could have kept the lead if he didn't turn into me out of anger. But, I mean, he has every right to be angry. Because I'm an idiot. Uh, that cost him the win, so I don't know. I'm I'm just driving like trash today.